Okay, that's the end of the game. That was really, 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 really abrupt. Especially the easy time I had with that. I mean, I, I was cheesing it. I did the LAPD, and I'm just like, you know, that's like, that is basically the strongest, like, one-on-one -on -one mech <laughs> there is. Uh, like, you just have to wait for them to come close, and that's it. Uh, but yeah. Um, I, I, okay. Well, I'll, I'll go, I'll, I guess I'll tell you what I think of the game. Uh, this is my first time completing the game. Um, I'm completely and utterly aware this is open-ended. So, the other th route I could have gone is I could have gone to that other planet and defended it, I guess, and made a base there. I'm, I'm, I'm not too clear on the specific specifics of the story. I kind of was kind of getting the gist of what was going on. So now I'm a clan warrior and I free Katrina or whatever. Um, I don't know. The story and the, the pacing of this game is really terrible. That's the worst part of this game. Like, I had Assault Mechs pretty much a third through the game. Like, uh, so this was this me this game was very assault heavy. I didn't even get a chance to use lights really. I think that like, it was basically like the mi first mission or two. I used lights and then that was it. It was done. I mean, I guess Solaris counts if you want to grind out Solaris. Who the fuck wants to do that? I mean, every time I played Solaris, I I, I remember getting I remember trying this game twice and getting to Solaris and thinking I had to go all the way through every single mission of Solaris, and I had no idea that I only had to do one match per thing it was not very clear on that um i think that's terrible that they had that many solaris missions in there uh like just like because it's it, it's confusion like it's just for me i was like you know whatever like i the last time i played this was like 10 years ago you have to remember that well maybe not 10 years ago but like at least like more than five like i haven't touched it since then uh and then i only did it because i want to kind of finish my my whole lp run of this game and it was just, yeah. Um, so that's where I always stopped, and I can kind of see why. So, I don't know if this game is particularly long. Um, the other thing I'll complain about while I'm on the list of complaints is the fact you have eight mechs in single player. Now, you think to yourself, Mike, that can't be so bad. Like, it's eight mechs. Like, more mechs is more fun. No, it's not, because you got to spend hours in the fucking la like, mech lab customizing each one. Because the AI is retarded and you want to give them weapons not like Thunderbolts or something, but you want to give them something that recycles fast so when they miss a lot, which they do, uh, then they can use it really effectively. And then, like, they blow a mech up, you gotta check the mechs to see if, like, parts blew off that you don't have replacements for. It's just, I don't know. The campaign in this is pretty weak, I have to say. Especially since, like, there was, you'd go to planets and you'd basically be like, You'd, or you'd already be aligned to somebody. I'd be with Steiner, and then they'd be like, Oh, we're gonna lock into Steiner when we finish this. And I just think to myself, Well, was I supposed to come here beforehand? And, and like, maybe do it and then go somewhere else? Like, there's no... It's it's open-ended in a bad way. It wasn't thought through. Uh, it, like, they just let you go wherever, and then it's like, the story doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, well, it's not it's not just stories. It's just like, the, the, the choices don't make fucking sense, because you go somewhere and it's like, well, I'm already locked into Steiner, um, and it, it doesn't really matter. It, like they, they, their dialogue should be different. They should be treating me differently. It's like they they didn't convey the plot very well. So, in terms of the campaign, this is the weakest of the three in in MechWarrior Four, I'd say, uh, by far. I know it's open ended, but Solaris is annoying as shit. To be honest, I I did not like Solaris, and. Just the pacing is bad. Um, like, because that plan that I did before the clan stuff was... Before I had to face those four cl those five clan mechs. That that was pretty difficult. I had to go through that a couple times. And the last mission, I just kind of like... I actually didn't know what would be there. But it it I, it showed me having like one mech. So I'm like, okay, I'll just do, take out the LAPD. Like, and just fucking... Because that is, like, as I said, the, the strongest mech I have. I didn't even, like, customize anything in that in that regard. So... Uh, I brought that one out. It was it was fine. So yeah, it's a very weak campaign. I think the strongest campaign now that I played through all four, all three games, uh, definitely Vengeance has the strongest campaign uh, by a large portion. I'd say, but sorry, by a large margin. Um, and with that being said, uh, this is also I would say the strongest game in the series with regards to customization. It has the most mechs and it has the most weapons. And to me, actually, the weapons are the most important part because. Um, I, 
I don't really see the point in the chassis as much. Um, I I may be wrong on this, but the the chassis are more of a like you're not like they don't normally customize the chassis in in actual BattleTech. So the chassis that they have here are just kind of like since I can put PPCs on a dashi, I don't think a dashi normally has uh, PPCs. I forget what the default loadout is. I think it's like gosses or some bullshit, but. Um, I think that the actual Battletech lore doesn't actually take into account that you'll heavily modify every mech. I think that's uncommon to do, and so that's why there's so many chassis. Because, like, you know, the catapult has LRMs. You don't put thunderbolts on it. Uh, it's not a normal thing. Um, so, in that regard, the chassis don't matter as much. But I think that it was great in the fact that it had a shit ton of weapons. It was actually a lot of fun with that regard. Like, we had... Thunderbolts, Thunderbolts with Artemis, Heavy Goss, Goss, Light Goss. I didn't even use like the Tiny Goss one. I forgot what it was called, but I, I didn't even get a chance to use that. Uh, rotary Cannons, despite the fact they sucked, uh, it's cool that they were in the game. Heavy Lasers, Rockets. Oh, fuck, I only got to use Rockets once. I, fuck. I actually like those. Those were actually kind of fun. Um, I don't know. It, it was now. I just feel like the ending was a bit abrupt. I, I like. I don't know. Was I rushing through it to the end? Who the fuck knows? It's a very, it's it's a very bad campaign in that regard. But I can see why. I guess the multiplayer for this would be really good because, you know, you get to like play online with all these different builds and combinations of mechs and stuff. So, um, and that's I think. One of the things I bitched about MechWare Online at some point, that's why I thought MechWare Online lacked, is like a good assortment of weapons. Because they kept releasing mech chassis and I kept thinking it was fucking trash, because I'm just like, well... You know, it's they don't have enough weapons to make this worthwhile. They, they've since added clan and whatever, but I don't give a fuck about that game anymore, so let's not talk about that anymore. Um, so yeah, so that's my opinion of this. I would say, in terms of single player, I wouldn't start with this one. Or end with it or anything. I don't know. I, it's, I guess okay. You know, it's it's, it's a, it's a good. I would say gameplay overall. If it wasn't for the fact I had to customize eight fucking mechs every time I went in, it was bad enough that I did it with four. Like you guys better think fuck. I edited it out because holy shit, that would be annoying to watch. That's why I fucking left it out because it's just like it's like I I kind of became not caring about it. I mean, I guess at the end it had like four mechs. But I think 8 was overdoing it. We could have had a, a Lance of 4 the entire time. It would have been fine. Um, like, I think the missions where I actually needed 8, it wouldn't give them to me anyways. Like, the, the last the the, the, the last three, uh, the, within the last three, those, those two on that other planet, whatever, that I had a lot of issues with. So, I don't know. That's, that's it for that. Uh, like, as I said, the, the rockets are cool and stuff. I, I, I'm sad I only got to use them on one fucking mission now. Because uh, I didn't think it would end this abruptly. I, I, I'm like, oh, I'll just take out the LAPD and then, yeah, it's like, it's done. Basically, there's more weapons than there's missions, I would say. I mean, you could just play this again, though. Uh, like, that's the thing. It's like, there's a Davian line now. Uh, so what does it say now with this? Yeah, it's just the same thing. It, it doesn't go anywhere. You know what? Fuck this. Let's go over here and let's do the other fucking storyline. I don't know why I'm ending this now. And you know what? We're going to use the rockets. That's what we're going to do. Fuck this. I didn't think it would just leave, leave it open for me to do that. All right. Um, how many mechs do I have? You made the right decision, sir. With Katrina in exile and Victor triumphant, we need to secure our future as a mercenary unit. Taking control of the situation in New Canton is just the foothold we need. Okay, so, guys, the canon ending is Mike joins the clans and, and be kills the con and becomes leader of the clans, okay? But we're going to make some... Last time in the mech lab, make some fucking mechs and then... Do some, I'm gonna do rockets, okay? I'm gonna do as many rockets as possible. Let's have some fun, guys. All right, I'll be back. All right, it's the final countdown. And uh, so we got uh, LAPD, I increased the speed. I'm not gonna be the one driving it. I figure we should have all the classic uh, mech combinations in this final fight. Uh, I don't know, I did some shit with this. Laser, large lasers and LRMs with this guy. Bring the giant railgun guy again. Actually, I should probably give him some fucking more ammo. Who cares about his heat efficiency? We need ammo for the railgun. Uh, but I'm not. I'm not taking that one with me. 
uh, Dashi UAC PPC and hasn't changed much since it's uh, going. Now the Dashi sister, a classic from Mech Warrior 4 Vengeance, did the exact same setup with the clan Gosses. And we got the Fafnir Heavy Goss, uh, same loadout as you saw before, haven't changed that much either. This is mine. Two heavy rockets. That's all I could fit on this. Uh, I tried three, but the heat efficiency would be really, really bad. Um, you know, I could put jump chips on this, but I think that's overdoing it, to be honest. I don't know, I may be good. It's six pounds, though. The thing is, I also have these mini lasers. I, I brought, like, some weapons along that aren't rockets, so... There's that. I feel like, um, a Nova Cat or something. Not Nova Cat. Is it Nova Cat? No, Mad Cat. Mad Cat 2 would do it even better, to be honest, but whatever. Uh, is this guy, uh, super, I don't know if I'm gonna get down this far. And there's Atlas, um, pretty much just some sea strikes and shit like that. I think this is, like, just garbage, so. Let's see how much we can equip. I think we're basically done. I'm just gonna take, yeah, that's it, that's all of them. A fucking drop fee. I, I'm fucking rich, by the way. Spectre units hot dropping onto Griffin base. Touchdown in 15 seconds. Over. Roger, Spectre. Stalwart support stands ready to assist you. Welcome to New Canton, sir. Spectre is on site, taking command of Griffin base. Good to have you on board, Colonel. What's your situation report? Our old friends, the Capellans, are caught windy on tension for New Canton. They deployed a reinforced company of the Harlock Raiders to demolish Griffin, along with any defending units. Outer defense grid is already engaged in a nav point alpha. We just got here. Hope the place is worth fighting for. Well, the last internal audit to the firebase and its intended facilities was just over 86 million sea bills. 86 million sounds worth it. Moving to support defense at Alpha. Okay, people, here's where we carve out a little piece of the inner sphere for ourselves. Take them down fast and hard. It shall be done, sir. I expect nothing less. Spectre out. Attack your closest target. Copy. Roger that. Roger lead. Ah. Copy. Roger Off to lead. Roger six. Affirmative, Spectre. Oh. Engaging two heavy lances at Alpha. Be advised, I show a large force moving in from the southwest. Why are people shooting at me? All I want to do is love. Oh, that's it. You fucked with the wrong mech, and apparently not, so I'm gonna fuck off. Nav point achieved. I wanna kill that guy though. Like all of a sudden I'm being shot at. I do that. I have reached the designated coordinates. There you go, I handled him. Small enemy mechs approaching, Eastern Ridge. Heavy lance eliminated. Heat exceeding recommended level. That, that's a fucking heavy lance. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> the clans were individual on a full company of armor, myrmidons and demolishers. Confirmed enemy assault lance hitting Eastern Ridge turrets. We aren't gonna last long over here. Uploading Eastern Ridge as nav point beta. Reinforce at best speed. Over. Acknowledged. Still engaging enemy armor assets. Target destroyed. I mean, I guess they can go to Nav Beta, because they're going to take forever. So, they can go. Rendezvous at the designated Nav Point. Roger. Roger, Spectre. Roger, Six. Affirmative, Spectre. Nav Point Alpha reached. You know, Falcon is pretty good. Clearly doesn't talk to many people, though. The hell, there's a lot of these armor escorts. Do these Merbidons even matter? Whatever. Just screw off and then do our own thing. I wonder what that guy is. Okay, it's just a Loki. What are we Enemy actually supposed detected. to do? Optional Enemy destroy all enemy mechs. Enemy detected. Roger! Roger! Roger, Spectre. Enemy mechs at Alpha eliminated. Target is down! Target destroyed! Target destroyed! Roger! Roger. Copy. Commander, my Northern Scout Platoon reports two more assault lances inbound on Griffin Base. Looks like their final push. Roger. Thanks for the tip, Colonel. Have your people pull back to the inner stockade. Roger. Stalwart assets returning to base. I have good track on inbound assault lances, marking intercept point Nav Gamma. You'd better get to them before they start taking our new mm -hmm. home apart. Heat exceeding recommended. Nav point. 
Attack your closest target. Roger. Roger, lead. Roger, lead. Ah. Alright, this shit's pretty good, th these rockets. Because I, I kind of wreck this guy from long range. It's just they have to move target destroyed. in order for me not to absolutely wreck them. Okay, shut down. I like this thing. Oh, he he actually died. Target destroyed. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. So what do you want me to do? Target destroyed. I guess that's it. I like these tanks. Just chilling. Oh, as far as I know, it's uh This is a cool base though. Is there another uh nav point gamma, I guess. Rendezvous at the designated nav points. Copy. Roger that. <laughs> Roger, Spectre. Ah. Alright, I accidentally pressed my, my fire rockets key. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna let uh Take Beowulf out the that. designated target. Roger. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Kind of wish I had a Enemy fucking. Enemy detected. Kind of wish I had some fucking jump jets now. This is Colonel Wu Kang Kuo. Depart this region immediately, and I'll overlook my orders to kill you all. Is it me, or does he sound scared? Capellan dogs, they'll pay. Thanks for the offer, Wu Kang. I'll pass. Enemy Prepare detected. to meet death, young dog. Commence final assault. I feel like his voice is slightly racist, but that might just be oh, it's fucking dick. Get some ruckus in the face. Enemy detected. Alright, I'm gonna just let my friends get in there. Target neutralized. Roger Lee. I need, I need my my lens to get, get get in there. Oh fucking hell! It's a hunchback. Fucking difficult to hit, dude. See if you move slightly, I miss. I got 43 shots Not off Not looking good, Wu Kang. You'd better punch out. Insolent wretch! I see you spit it on my banner pole. Take your best shot. Nav point reached. Attack your closest target. Roger, Lee. Roger. Roger. Fuck. Understood. It's moments like these, I wish I was better at aiming this. Warning, heat exceeding recommended level. Heat level critical. Shut down imminent. You just gotta die. Warning, heat exceeding recommended level. I, I wonder what these rockets could possibly be firing that causes them to be so hot. Warning, heat exceeding recommended level. Warning, heat exceeding recommended level. Target destroyed. I'm just gonna shut that. Oh look, it's a Thanatos. Oh Weapon fuck me. Destroyed. What does this guy even have? Eating fucking something pulse lasers. Alright, I'm almost dead. Alright. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Heat level critical. Shut down. I can't imminent. I can't shut down. That fucking CT is almost gone. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended Got him. level. Target destroyed. Attack your closest target. Roger. Copy. Roger. I hope these are the last guys, because, uh, like... Wu Kang is dead. This is Lieutenant Cho. We concede the field. Harlock radars fall back. We are breaking off. Cease fire. Roger, Spectre. <laughs> Unable to comply. Roger that. Sorry, sir. I can't do that. Roger, lead. Sorry, sir. I cannot do that. Ah! Ugh. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna miss that. Attack your closest target. Roger that. Copy. Roger lead. Ah! I can decide if I want to destroy them all. Um, you spared the Capellans and, and hold the... Yeah, I think it's just... Confirm. Remaining raiders have fled the area. Liao may have to rethink his campaigns here on New Canton. Agreed. 
Let the planetary governor know we've secured Griffin Base for ourselves and stand ready to negotiate terms of service. Preparing the reports now, sir. Excellent. Things are looking up. Securing Griffin Base as our own set us up well for taking on contracts throughout the Chaos March. In time, our reputation and firepower put us on par with any RCT in the inner sphere. Life was good, if only for a while. Little did we know that a storm was rising on Terra that would sweep all before it. A storm terrible in its passing. Okay. Uh, I guess that's the end of that one. Uh, the symbol at the end, that's not my company. So I don't really know what the deal is with the endings, and I don't know why I'm supposed to spare the other mechs necessarily. It doesn't really make much sense to me, but... Whatever, I guess that maybe affects my infamy. That in fact, I leave no... No prisoners or something. I think I think it's that's pretty much the two endings you can get, and the only and the, there's another two endings you can get if you happen to side with Davian. But that would require me to play through this entire game again, which I don't think I'm going to do. Um, with that being said, uh, it was a fun game. I had a, I had a good time. Uh, we even got to do the, th the little st shit at the end here. Um, now I'm done all the Mech Four games, but I'm not going to leave Mech Two Mercs and or any of the Mech Two games. Or even the Mech 3 games off the... I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to say they're out of the question, but it might be a while before I maybe visit those. Uh, no promises, though, because I know Mech 3 has a lot of problems running under Windows 7. Uh, and it just... Uh, well, newer hardware mostly is actually the issue. I have some ideas of how I can maybe limit the... Because uh, the physics is tied to it. It's fucked up as hell, dude. It, it's very unstable as it is as well. Uh, it's terrible uh, in that regard. It wasn't a bad game. It was, it was actually pretty decent, I'd say. I think I think when I, I tried to LP it at some point, I got frustrated with it because it was crashing all the time. I think that was my main problem with it. Uh, but after completing this one, I'm like, eh, you know, I might visit Mech 3. I, I am a feck of the, uh, the feck. I am a fan of the uh, Mech games, so uh, I'll definitely come back to them at some point, I think. Uh, but it might be a while. Uh, so... But, you know, we've done them all, all the Mech 4 games, all done. Uh, so, Steiner Path is, is completed. I don't know, maybe, maybe sometime I'll also stream uh, the Davian Path if I feel like it, I don't know. I'll see. I don't know, this, this game felt kind of easy at the end for some reason. Like, the, like right at the end, I'm talking about. Um, the other two missions before that were like, kind of meh. Kind of, like, they were like, very difficult and very, kind of, misleading, I think, but... I don't know. The pacing of the campaign is bad. Like, as I said, I think it's the weakest campaign. I stand by that. And you already heard all my other thoughts, so... I guess that's it for this LP, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh... I guess uh, XCOM 2 is coming next. Take care. Alright, I just wanted to append the ending a little bit, just because there was a bit more to the story, which I didn't fully understand, but I looked it up later. And I'll just briefly tell you. So the red hand that you saw at the end of both cutscenes is supposed to be the word of Blake Jihad. Um... It's not explained explicitly in in this game, but it's basically um, it, this game takes place in like thirty sixty seven apparently, and according to the storyline, uh, there becomes some. This is the end of the civil war between the Federated Commonwealth and Lyrian Alliance. Um, I think that's like this just the Steiner and Davian shit that was going on. Um, the ending doesn't appear to really matter. Like, the biggest disappointment to me was it was basically a mercenaries storyline. I thought, like, mercenaries are supposed to only care about getting paid, but whatever. Um, so there's a whole, apparently, bunch of books and some other stuff. Like, Terra, the planet Terra that was referenced is apparently Earth. That's what they call it. Um, and there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff that happens in a bunch of books, and that's where it referenced. So instead of going and making, like, a proper ending, they just made it, I guess link with some books and crap like that. So that was kind of disappointing. Uh, I'm just explaining that to you quickly in case you don't understand. Cause you're actually not supposed to, unless you're like deep into the lore and a, and a nerd apparently. So whatever. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.